piece of dry. Hi right, guys, welcome back to the Relentless Night Maskers Challenge, episode 25. Wake it up in the dam, uh, looking really cool with this aurora on, but also a bit scary. So yeah, I would say that with this aurora on, I'm kind of stuck. Am I? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I don't, yeah, there's nothing ever here really, but let's go ahead and try to break this thing down while we're here an hour. 300 calories? I guess calories the limiter. And I don't need fuel, so never mind. Let's not do that. Definitely going to want my lantern out while I navigate this. I don't think I can get over there. Let's just look though. Oh, maybe I can do stuff here. Okay. Let's, let's not panic just yet. It's a bit of a minefield, but um, yeah, let's not panic. Let's keep keep an eye out for take advantage of this light, right? Although I still seem to need the the lantern. Oh, there's that flare. So I'm gonna have too many flares. So we'll use a flare at our next opportunity to light a fire. Let's see what? Do we have a light here? No, it's too dark still. It's just ambient kind of brightness, but. Not enough to actually work with. But yeah, I'm going to be prevented from going into the inner dam. Because of this. Sorry guys, one sec. I just want to make sure... Yeah, that we are recording. We are. And I guess we could do some cloth breakdown and stuff if we really wanted to. Probably should take advantage of the fact that this is... A relatively warm spot. Uh, these are freebies here too. This this wood. Um, anyway, I guess if I need to stay here longer, I will. Oh come! I don't think we're gonna burn that whole fire though. There's like 12 hours of fire left, so we won't be burning that. Oh, save the fuel for. Oh, there goes the aurora. Okay. Good. And nothing here. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna probably want to cart all my stuff down to the the lower dam. What's this? Nothing. 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 Oh, I can't. I can't climb anyway. I never really know about dropping that, that, doing that little drop. I don't know if it's good or not, so I'm going to not do it. A little more cloth over here, actually. Could try breaking that down and see if I can get away with it. Let's just see what happens. It's going to need light now. How cold is it right now? Negative 18, that's not too bad. But yeah, it's still too cold for ever, you, for ever clothing to overcome, so. But it is, this is a cold room in the dam. Um, so not surprising, I guess, but. You know, again, just going back to that whole thing where it's, can you, you know, can you be comfortable indoors without a fire? So, still don't know the answer to that, really, but. So we're probably going to try to keep the well fed, fed buff going. So I know it's crazy, but uh, wait, yeah. And what am I going to do? Am I going to haul it all down? Okay, I'll turn this off. While I think about it. I guess I'm going to haul everything down with me, guys. And uh, okay, I might as well sleep a couple more hours. Get a couple more hours out of this thing, just because I know it's not the max. Well, not the maximal condition recovery, is it? Yeah, 
it's going to be running for a long time. So I could come back up here afterwards and do a quick sleep. So let's do that. We'll wait till we warm up here. Let's go ahead and cook like a... What are we going to cook? Made a bunch of reishis recently. Let's just cook a reishi. And we'll, we'll drink it. So we keep our a little bit of a buff going. I'll eat a couple of cattails. Do have a lot of them. And there's gonna, you know, we're gonna go for that deer at the bottom of the dam, but let's just haul this all down. I can barely walk with this much gear. It's crazy, isn't it? It's pretty insane. If I don't say so myself, oh, we've picked up a lot of stuff actually that it's gonna put us over. Whoa, 55? Oh, it's all the tools and everything, eh? Okay, well, let's drop these. What else? I mean, three liters of water, I guess, is not, not great. Let's drop three of those. What else? 51, guys. It's just like, whoa. Uh, it would be the uh, the fuel as well. And a whole bunch of books and, and stuff like that. Oh, we're like almost immobile. Okay, so let's just drag our story selves down. I don't know really why I'm doing all this. Like, why am I dragging all this? We, we need the coal, but... I can pretty much drop it all at the door. Um... Yeah, so the question I would have for myself is, do I want that deer outside? I guess I do. I guess I want the hide. Um, oh, I forget this guy. So we'll, we'll use one of these lockers at the bottom here for all our stuff. And actually, I'm going to do this in reverse. I'm going to... I would pop out normally and just do the deer, but what we'll do is we'll... Use our, our warmth to get us... Oh, there's some matches, guys. See that right away. Nice find. Okay, so let's... We're going to stash everything in this locker. This is what happens, you know, you're slow and you're just, I'm just a beast, you know, I'm just, do I really want that? 47 kilos still, guys. Okay, all the coal, yeah. There, 36, okay. Drop that, we're almost down under. Okay, 34, now we're under, that's beautiful. Okay, drop all our arrowhead, arrows. Let's drop a lot of those. I'll take back. All right, now we're well under, guys. So let's go finish our search. Let's do this. That's more like it. Look at that spring of my step. Hey. All that food is welcome. Yep, so the, the glory of a damn search, guys. I dare say torchlight, like a fresh torch, is actually almost better than the lantern. And actually, hold on, it does kind of make sense to keep my fire going here. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, well, these are really good torches though, but whatever. They're not that good. You got to use good torches sometimes, right? I can't just hold on to it forever. Yeah, part of me was like, oh, maybe I'll break stuff down in here, like cloth and stuff, but we're pretty good for cloth. And eventually we're gonna probably make it to Pleasant Valley uh, Homestead where it's gonna be Clothaganza. I'm gonna see about what repairs I need to do as well before we... Yeah, that's a heck of a torch, wow. I've got so many sewing kits, so all that 
I was doing trying to conserve stone kits. I don't really know why I was doing that. There's so many of them. I'm dragging them all over Great Bear. Getting cold though, guys. Uh, okay, I guess I got enough cured leather, but we'll just see. Maybe I can throw a repair into something. Although food's really... Oh, that's 100% torch. Nice. Food's really the limiter. Oh, I've got an extra hat too. It's occurring to me. And where's the magic? There's the magic scarf. I'm gonna take it. It's just for good luck. No hacksaw, no nothing. I'm doing this just so that when I come back through, I can kind of go quick. Oh, did I drop all my coal? Darn. Oh. Oh, guys. More work gloves. I regret. I need five coal. I was gonna plan on getting a deer. Although, frankly, do I really need all these hides? You know. Okay. It's like I I need to do repairs on my my clothing at some point. So okay. I guess I do have to do it. Oh, it's okay because I can't go out this way anyway. No problem. No problem. We're good. Sorry, I was getting a little turned around there. This is the way back in. It's kind of kind of complicated. There's so much cloth in here, but yeah, we're just gonna let it be. We've got enough cloth. Cloth, cloth. Not gonna. I mean, I could on torchlight break it down, but let's just see what I have. 18 cloth, guys. That's enough for now. Given my weight constraints. Uh, can't be taking too much extra cloth. I don't really know what I'm looking for here. Like, what is what is it that I really need? To escape this cold. I don't know. There's another pot. Don't really need it. Just leave it. Yeah, I don't really know what it is that I need. So let's just go. Let's go back. So this search is done. Um, nice and cold. Now. And then we're gonna go outside and really get coal. But I'm gonna take enough coal to change that. Then we get to the deer. So I'm, I'm using coal a little freely just cause uh, we've got a fair bit of it. I'm weight restricted and uh, I do need a deer hide. So now I don't know when I'm gonna wait for that to cure. I'm gonna have to drag the darn thing through the, uh, the winding river. I'm gonna be pretty much, in Winding River, I'm pretty much just gonna go through. Like, I don't think I'm actually going to do much hanging around. Okay, so we're officially hypothermic. Uh, let's take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just in case, never know. You know what? Okay. So let's see, let's see what we get. Oh, darn. Hey, can we do this? We're we gonna get wind cover. I don't even know. I don't think I can really do this, guys. Over here I could sit, but Okay, well this is not our deer. I, I wanted it to be, but it's not. Yeah, the, the wind just switched on us, so that would have been a, a real joke if I had started that. It's definitely not our deer. Okay, we'll just take the meat and go. We'll freeze our butts off a little bit. 
So this is all pretty familiar. Let's just hustle because we're just freezing at this point. And we're going to go back to our fire, cook our meal up, and we're going to maybe do some repairs and stuff. I am a little hurting about that deer, but there's another deer out there. If I really want to burn my five coal, I can do that. Did I start the episode timer? Sure oh, that was a good question. Yeah, I did. Okay, fire. Warm me up. And let's eat. Oh, hey, I left myself a coal. That was nice. Okay, so what's the story, guys? Um, Nothing to do there. Any any knife sharpening? Nope. Uh, nice to see that hacksaw 100%. That's a glorious thing. Gee, I've only got four arrowheads, guys. 11 arrows, so 12 arrows. And, okay. I've lost a few along the way, though. Eh? It's, it's interesting. Oh, gee, I left all the books and stuff down there, didn't I? It's not very far. I'll probably go get them. Although, we'll just see what this fire situation is. Eat it. Three hours. Uh okay, well did I? Let's just check. I got three books, okay, never mind. I guess I did take all the books. Hopefully I'll take all the books. One, two, three. Wow, they're powerful. Okay, I probably don't need much more than that, because we're gonna do oh uh, we can't do ten anyway. Um gee, but I want to. Yeah, I don't think we're going to take another herbal tea. Uh, let's take a look at the clothing. Okay, okay let's... Uh, yeah, we've got some extra stuff here, so let's break this down. And we'll break this down. See what the situation is. Three minutes to eat that venison. Nice. Oh yeah, and a pop. Let's do that too. Forgot about you. Any, anything else? Just cattails. So down to ten, ten cattails on me. But I can't be too much of a miser about cattails. I mean, you got to spend them. Okay. Well, let's go repair these socks. Okay, let's just use the sewing kit because I have too many. Hey, okay. anything else that looks, I guess it's crazy, but, oh, hey, yeah, we don't need these anymore. Uh, okay, break them down. So yeah, everything else is looking really good. I, that's why I need the deer skin uh, is to do those pants. I'm losing a little on those. Uh, it's crazy. We'll wait a little bit to do the repair. I have so much cloth. I mean, 19 cloth is too much. We need to do the arrows. Uh, actually, nah, it'll cost me condition. I was going to run upstairs and do them, but could use a buff and do that. An hour? I don't think at negative 14 you can stay at an hour. Plus, I need the... Uh, well... Maybe it's worth it. Two arrows? Oh, I left my... Uh... Maybe it is worth it. Let's try it. Because I'm not really keen on bringing all this uh, fuel with me anyway, so... Let's do this. Try to make good on our time here a little bit. And 
Yeah. So I've got... Okay, I've got enough for two arrows. Really? What's going on? Okay. Two of those. Got four arrowheads. Okay, that's good. And I guess... Let's take this. So we can refuel the darn thing as we go. I've got that extra flare. I, I will probably use the flare when I leave the dam. Um, just to like... I guess I could craft by the flare too, but got a lot of options here, guys. It's good. It's a good situation. These are good problems. It's a fairly little, you know, uh, did I leave any fuel down there? Gosh. No, oh, I did, yeah. Let's take all that too, just in case. Don't have to come back here. Okay, so here's my little scheme. Um, I'm gonna cook myself a reishi. Let's drop in a couple. Okay, at least one. Let's cook two reishis. Oh, let's mix it up. Let's do a reishi and a rose hip. I've got. I'll take that. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Okay, drop all that. Okay. So let's we'll eat the uh, let's eat the rose hip. Also, get it squeeze a little bit of calories out of that stuff. Okay, so let's just see what happens here. It's gonna cost me a little condition, I know it, but I'm gonna just do it anyway for the sake of productivity and because we're trying to kill a little time. Okay, we're getting cold now. There it is. Howling blizzard out there. Nasty. Oh, look at that, that's pretty good. There we go. Spare myself a little condition by running here. A couple of points, there we go. We'll put another, uh, let's eat the reishi. Cook the reishi. I guess I've got, I feel like I have more, do, do I? Yeah, I have three, I don't know why it's, okay. For some reason it only gives you the two options. Okay, I gotta let myself heat up here. Yeah, this is a good situation, guys. Um, it's really nice to be able to use this time. Do a little bit of uh, crafting. Well, like I said, I think there's a fair bit of food in the, uh, the valley, but there's reishis and whatnot, but, and there's, the main thing I think would be the cattails, but. Okay, let's eat. Drink the reishi. Get our calories out of the reishi. I'll do that little trick one more time. And do that other arrow. And I think I'm probably gonna throw some repairs into clothing just because, although. Yeah, because we're going across Pleasant Valley. I can't really haul all this stuff with me. And we're gonna get a lot of, we're probably gonna get a fair bit of extra coal when we're in the, the mine, so. Feels like it's colder this time. Oh, maybe not.
There it is. Alright, so that was pretty good. Uh, and I, yeah, I think I'm gonna do some just wasteful repairing. Like anything, basically, that needs anything. Let's just get rid of some cloth. And tire ourselves out of touch. So we get more condition recovery. Let's do the hat. It's super wasteful, but... I have so much of this stuff. And frankly, guys, I don't want to live forever, you know? I don't want to live forever. Nice, like, oh, we're getting the best repair luck on this, and it's like, as soon as I turn to go do something with a special item, I get the burn. Alrighty, like, those deer pants, wow. Okay, so, oh, I, you know what? It's super wasteful, but hell, let's just do it. Because we can. Okay, uh, that's good. So, well, now what? We're, uh, I think I'm gonna, okay, let's drop this thing. Go ahead and fuel that up. Nice. So we're getting that down to a reasonable amount of supply there. Could make some. Could make a cool torch or two. That's one way to get rid of cloth, actually. Thirteen cloth. Yeah. You know what? And some lamp oil. Let's do it. So again, super wasteful, but there. Twelve cloth. That's much more reasonable. Uh, what's this? Why are we carrying that? Oh, why are we carrying that? Two scrap. I don't think we really need the scrap. It's heavy too. Dropping it. You can find scrap on the way. We've got a full hacksaw. We've got plenty of hooks. Plenty of fish hooks. So I'm not even considering that. This thing's looking a little rough, but there will be things we need to open in Pleasant Valley with it. Now, a question would be whether I leave this behind, and I may actually. I'll take it to the cave for sure, and then we'll see about leaving it in the cave. Now, did I drink my coffee? Yeah, I need to make a coffee, guys. Oh, why did I do that? Mistake. Let's get a coffee going. Probably should get two going. Actually, have, it should, it should always pretty have really have two coffees. I think handy. Oh, it's extra weight with water. So okay, we have to queue this up. There, six hours should do. And yeah, we're pretty much out of stuff to do. That thing's in really good shape. But there we are, 13 arrows, guys, and a full bow. So it's a, it's a really nice scenario. Let's break this thing down. Embarrassing torch. I think we're not quite ready for uh, the 10 hour sleep yet, so. I'm gonna get rid of some cattails. getting rid of them. I'm, I'm carrying a ridiculous number and I will find more cattails in the uh, in the winding river. There, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, six hours in this thing, so yeah, we're still kind of killing time. Boots are in great shape. Everything's in really good shape. Nothing left to repair. I wish I had a deer hide for that thing, but no. Um, there it is, guys. So yeah, look at all the sewing kits. You know, like I don't even need them. I don't even need them. And same goes for the 
these things. Whetstones. That thing. That's heavy. Okay, well, um, I guess we're just going to sleep because we're killing time and I just want to get on with it. Let's just do it, guys. Let's sleep for 10. Oh, another Aurora popped up, but hopefully it's done by the time we leave. There it is, yeah. Okay, we didn't quite get our 10, but it's going to be have to be close enough for me. Um, yeah, now, do I have the pot? No, what did I do with the pot? Oh, I must have put it in the, in the closet downstairs. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, I guess we might as well cook a reishi because we're carrying so many of them. We'll let that burn out, guys. So we're on the move now. Time to go. Aurora conveniently shut down for us. Got my sleeping bag. Left the left all the scrap and stuff behind. Um, it is nice to manufacture into hooks if you can. So you've got some hooks. The hooks are so light, but we'll encounter more scrap. It's not a big deal. I've got a couple extra hooks, so things are good. Let's um, let's load up our monster load. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Oh, guys, look at it. And then the scrap, 48. Oh. Okay, while we think about this, let's um, look at this seriously. Make some decisions here. I gotta get it all out of here, you know? The pot's the one thing I could leave maybe, but. Gosh, guys. Don't have much water, just a little bit. It's all those bloody cattails, guys. Um, I'm gonna try to haul it. You know, I, I, it's just crazy, but can't we can't sprint with this though. I'm not gonna shed three kilos, am I? Like, let's go. Hey, that was a mistake. Wanted to drink that first, and we're looking pre-blizzard, which is even worse. So yeah, I think the prerogative is going to be to push through, given that we're in this situation. I don't think I'm going to hang out. I think we're just going to go and try to get to the connecting caves. And we'll see how we fare in there. I could come back, you know, and, and do this deer. I just want to drop all my heavy stuff. That's our main thing, is to push to get everything there. And then if we have to come back, we do. Yeah, kidding me that the wind's blowing that way. I can't set up a fire by the deer that I want to set it up by, so... It's just not even... Not even a thing. Be a little careful. There's that deer. gonna blow this is blowing right down towards that wolf yeah perfect timing to come out eh wow and we're gonna have a headwind up the uh, the river it's lovely I guess I could hide it in the cave 
make a couple bunnies. Let's maybe do that. Let's maybe do that. That's that might be the, the way to go. We might as well at least just see what's in the cave. Oh, look at that headwind. Wow. Can't run. Brutal headwind. Wow. Just awful weather. I mean... I don't see a wolf out there. Just nasty, nasty weather. I can't go up there, I'm gonna fall. I gotta come down this way. And then I gotta walk back up in the headwind. Just lovely. No, I don't see a wolf though. Accidentally picked up a cattail stock, but or cattail head that is. But we're gonna just push and try to set up in the cave. I think I don't know, or I could just push. I kind of want to see what's in the cave, though. Maybe we'll just keep going, right? Harsh music kicking in. So the reason, guys, that I'm carrying all this stuff is, um, you know, if you've been watching the series, you know that connecting caves in this mode are are the thing. That's where you have to. That's where you have to set up. So let me get a sense of how cool it is in a cave. I actually haven't checked that really. How, how much? Savings do you get for being in a cave? Is a cave like an indoor spot? Let's just see. Since it's 120 outside, you need five coal to fight that. But if I can fight it with like one coal in the cave or two coal, that's really a good saving. So let's just see. But anyway, yeah, connecting caves are the place, you know? That's where you want to set up shop. I'm just going to push in here. I'll check him out in just a sec. See if I can't get some respite in here. Brutal. Okay, what's the story, guys? What's it gonna be? Negative 90, so there's no savings, really. I tell you what, I'm just gonna keep going. This is gonna be one of our grand pain walks. Oh, look at that. We're gonna suffer here, guys. We're gonna lose a lot. going to be uh, probably a herbal. I'm not seeing any uh, any feathers. Oh, there's one. Okay, I'll take one feather, guys. It's better than none. Yeah, we're just going to go. like Because, you know, negative 90. That's only three coal. So that's actually fairly big savings, but... The nice part about these little passages is they uh, they do have wind shelter, so.
gosh. All I can say is gosh. But it's kind of amazing how much you can actually abuse your condition. Like, it's pretty amazing. Like, here I am. I've been out for, like, you know, a long time, it seems. I guess I gotta be a little careful about the hypothermia. That's something that took out Aaron more than once, so. Or at least once, sorry. He said that it took out his long run. He started to get ballsy, right? Around day 74 or something, and. Here's, here's me, right? Late game, trying to make big pushes, and uh, yeah, a guy could get hypothermia this way. I've actually never, ever had hypothermia. I have no idea what it's all about. Let's just see, what are we at? Hypothermia, oh, it's coming, 49%. You almost have to lose your whole condition bar, basically, it seems, to get it. I think, though, you know, maybe Relentless Night, they have this damage from freezing, Modification on Relentless Night you can turn on. It's not on on this mode. But, um, basically, you know, it accelerates your condition loss when you're you're freezing. You know, I that sounds cool, but actually, you know what they should just do is just make it that the hypothermia affliction happens quicker. Because that will take your condition down, right? So, I think that would be a pretty cool good thing to do. Pretty cool uh, modification. I don't remember this cave at all, but I'm going to be obliged when I get in to start a fire right away. Because... i got to stop the condition loss. And actually, I think that um, Joe Buckley, I think, his final base was here. I think this is it. This cave. Which is pretty interesting. It goes to show that it's got some... Uh, it comes highly recommended. So we're just going to be really overweight right now. For the last little bit. And just basically push our way in. Some weird sounds, like a almost like a growling. Is that my stomach, maybe? It's crazy sounds of, uh, around. Okay, let's get in there. Let's get in there, guys. Just get in. Oh, we're slow. Yeah, I forgot the caves are slower. So what is it? Negative four. Okay, so what we can do is let's just get down the hill a little bit. Hopefully it's a little warmer and then we can use our sleeping bag to warm up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is there a, please let there be a deer in here. No. Just a, a carcass. Corpse that is. Really slow now. Come on, guys. What's the what's the temperature? Negative five. It got colder in here. Okay. Well, negative four again. But with my uh, okay, I'm getting ridiculously cheap here. Let's just check this one more room. Is this threshold going to be? I know there was coal back there. We'll do more exploring in this cave. I just. I just want to see, is there somewhere? Ah, two. There it is. I'll die if I don't warm up soon. Tell me, man. A little low on water. Okay, let's sleep for three hours. Blizzard outside. Okay, we're gonna just slowly work our way through this cave. 
um, collecting what we collect. And I'm going to set up on the other side. Although, down here it's pretty warm, so... I could just drop all my gear, but... Actually, sounds like maybe we're kind of close to the exit. Let's just see. Let's find out. This is a pretty good spot down here, I will say. I will say I'm very disappointed that I didn't get that dead deer. Sometimes in that uh, cave there's a dead deer. That would have been perfect. Okay, is that the way out? Let's just see. It's still warm here. What is it? It's only one. Okay, it's getting colder. I want to see if there's any other interesting chamber. Oh, yeah. There are some interesting chambers. Possibly. So what I wanted to do is just drag this kit across to wherever. Okay, yeah, there's a big open chamber. Nice. Sometimes there's a deer in here too. Possibly. And now I'm disoriented because I feel like... Okay, what is it in here? It's one. That's good. Okay, this looks like the place, guys. No deer, though. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that uh, flare. I just don't want to carry two of them, they're too heavy. So yeah, this is a nice, cheap fire spot. we're almost above temperature in here as it is which is so awesome even with a blizzard outside ah now that fur fur is special because I can use it to repair five hours I probably didn't need to throw that kind of crazy amount of time into it but okay let's search the bag we'll drop all our kit oh better put some water on we're gonna be pretty thirsty pretty soon Oops. Okay, let's drop all our stuff here, so... Drop the fur, let's drop the extra fuel, drop the wood. It's still 42, guys, woo. We're gonna read some bulk over in here, that's for sure. Uh, what is the all the weight? All those cattails? I need to eat them now, though. Um, what is all the weight? Uh oh, somewhere I left my reishi pile. Eh? Did I leave? I had about twenty reishis, guys. Shucks, I'll have to look back at the recording, but I must have left him somewhere. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, it's the 40 cool. Yeah, 12 kilo. Whoa. What can fit in here? There we go, just under. Let's go snoop around a bit. Um... So there was a passage I didn't take. I guess it was, I guess it was, was it this one? So Pleasant Valley sounds pleasant. Okay, oh yeah, coal guys. Yeah, so we have to pick up all this coal in order to hasten the regen. Though this cave so far doesn't seem super bountiful for coal. Which is a bit disappointing. I was expecting this to be like one of those ultra caves. I mean, Desolation Point really is the place you want to be. Um, but yeah, usually there's a deer or two in here, guys. I'm just like, I'm hurting about the, the deer. Lack there of. Back here, there was a passageway I did not take. So let's see what's in there. There's this one.
leads to a dead end with some coal. So yeah, the coal supply is excellent. Eight coal is, you know, it's a good find. Definitely help you out. We're not going out again today because we're uh, we're so badly injured from our. So yeah, unfortunately, we're going to be living on cattails for a day or two. Um, I did leave some back in Winding River that I could have taken that were a bit further down the river, but it was just so nasty out that. So that's that. Let's go up the hill here and just take a quick peek if there's anything there for us. I think it's just the way out. Well, not without a little uh, mini coal spawn. Nothing else there for us. A couple of stones. Yeah, I'm just like, whoa, maybe there'd be another a deer in here, but... Oh, there's quite a, quite a long cave here. And yeah, we're going to lose that flare. Let's take a peek, just for fun. Whoa, hell of a load. Okay. That's nasty. Let's go back in. Sometimes there's a corpse over here. There he is. Um. Okay. Cold is making my head feel thick. Oh, well, we made it to Pleasant Valley. So that, that is good. Um, let's just basically shut it down. So I think we're, this is probably going to be the end of the episode right now. Um, I have something I need to tend to. And, uh, you know, Pleasant Valley is its whole own monster. So, I, you know, we'll to tackle that beast. Um, and figure out what, I don't even know what my strategy is going to be. I don't know quite what I'm going to do. We're just going to attack it somehow. I don't know what we're going to do because I, you know, part of me wants to go to Timberwolf, but I do also want to check the homestead and all that. So there's a lot to think about. Um, but yeah, we'll do a little bit of maintenance here. Can I break this down? No, it's not a breakable one. We got 31 minutes till void. Okay, so let's put that out. Let's eat some cattails. Yeah, because the well-fed buff, it turns out, is, is critical here. Yeah, we can't use all the weight. It's just there's so much weight here. Oh, just thinking, like, I don't have my snares either. I think I left a whole kit somewhere back in, in in Mystery Lake, like a whole bin. Oh, there were two drawers in the camp office, and I'm pretty sure I didn't take the second drawer. I don't even know what's in there. Oh, man. That's a burn. That hurts. I left some stuff. I don't even know what I left, but... Wow, that's how it goes. Um, Got to be on top of that stuff. I came into the camp office from the the fishing hunt in like a hurry, and yeah, I just kind of just kind of blew it. Oh, didn't really mean to do that, but hey, it's fine. So what I'm gonna do right now is just get rid of this archery book. Uh, let's get rid of the archery book. Where is it? One, two, three, four, five. 
we actually were pretty rested up. Just I don't have the condition to, to do much. But that's okay, we'll we'll figure it out. I might have to use another herbal tea. We're going to leave a lot of our kit here. Like, I'm not bringing nearly all of it with us. Okay, so there. A little bit of archery skill, always a good thing. A great thing, actually. Little bit of a boast, a bonus, you know. It's good. Gee, that's not. I don't have that many cattails, you know. Like, I've got a lot, but it's you know, it's a few days worth. When you're trying to maintain the well-fed buff, it's not that much. Uh, let's just eat them all. And I could go up the hill and try to take a couple rabbits and stuff like that. I suppose I probably want to check the... Uh, I'm conflicted because there's two directions to go. I want to go to um, Timberwolf. But I also want to go to Coastal Highway, right, eventually. So I'm a way out. I'm kind of conflicted about that, what the right way to go is. Um, 22 minutes. Need to put some more fuel in this fire, although I could, I don't really need to actually, I could just sleep. Yeah, gee, but I, I want to do the 10 hours, eh? I really want to do the 10 hours. Yeah, I'm going to need to. Mm. I guess what we're going to resort to is the run around. Seems crazy, but... waste of food too but we really need the condition let's just see what our I might find some herbal tea in the in the in the radio control tower let's drop all that water yeah so this is lame but that's what the game that's what Interloper forces you to do. It's not my fault. Interloper's fault. Let's burn that book. I'll break that torch down. Let's go ahead and fill up our lantern. And actually, yeah, I'll probably be leaving the lantern here. I mean, this is a good fallback base, right? It's it's definitely a good fallback base. If things go badly. Uh, I could come back here. Yeah, so I think that's probably what we'll end up doing. I am going to use a herbal tea, I think, to try to max out my condition recovery. But I need to sleep. I need to get tired here first. Um... Just because I can. Usually it's three to five percent. So there was me gambling that it's three and not five. It's often four, but when you get your sharpening up, it's always five percent. But whatever. Just trying to get through this. Um. So yeah, maybe I'll take a quick look. So what am I gonna bring, right? Let's let's do, take this opportunity to do some gear gear thinking. Feels like a lot of gear. The bear hide. Uh, I need to take the bear hide to the connector cave to the coastal highway because that's the only place I can probably do manufacturing on it. I can't even. Oh no! I want to take it to the barn. That's where I want to take it. So we're now at forty nine kilos, which is unbelievably insane. We don't need all these arrow shafts. 
Getting to the barn would be good with everything, though, because the barn is a good... Um, it has, it has a, a fire in there. You can set up a fire, so... And you can craft. The barn and, and the homestead are together a nice combo. They're, they're close, and they can you can do... Homestead's really warm, I think, and the barn is functional. So... Oh, guys. As I kill time here. Can't run on that. Oh, yeah. So we're basically going to end up leaving a fair bit of coal, I think. Maybe 20. That takes us under the 45, so there we go. Just leaving the coal does it. And if I if I sleep, yeah, see, it's a little tricky. You got to think about where you're gonna sleep on your way there. I have to do some thinking about this offline because, you know, it's it's high stakes. High stakes crossing Pleasant Valley. I got a lot of matches, guys. I'm hauling like a kilogram of matches. I could do myself a favor and leave a book here, right? Leave those, just so I've got something to come back to. There's no need to take them all. The heavy hammer, um, that's another thing I'm hauling that's brutal, but I'm just paranoid about it. Brutal that I left all my ratios, but hey, there are more. There's more ratios out there. Um... And I can probably leave myself like 20 of these. Force myself to find food on the way. That's getting down to a pretty reasonable weight. That thing's really heavy. And then the lantern I'll leave. Yeah, so we'll be, we'll be under, maybe not under 40, but getting close to being under 40. Getting there, guys. Almost at the ability to sleep for 10 hours. We're leaving the pot. And I'm going to let the fire go out. How hot is it in here? 28. So 10 hours would be 30 degrees. So that just putting it pretty close. I will probably drop a coal in just to give myself that. Oh, no, but it's, it's twice as long. It's six hours. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Okay, whatever. I'll take 30 coal. It's fine. Uh, leave myself a reclaimed or two just to, like... Cut myself a break. We'll find a lot of sticks on the way. In fact, I'll leave myself through reclaimed. Real shame that I, I don't have those snares though, guys. The snares, you know? Oh. I have the ability to make snares quick because, like, with if I have reclaimed, I can throw some guts at it. But not a good scenario, let me tell you. I'm banking on finding some herbal up the uh, the hill at the the radio control hut. We're basically, going to move over whatever shop we have to to um, the homestead, and then over to the, the barn. And then from the barn, we're going to go to where? Uh, I don't know. Rural store, maybe? I'm not sure, actually, where we'll go after the barn. Like, because you need to have a fire to sleep, so... I don't know. We can't go to Draft Dodgers. We can't go to Skeeters. That's a conundrum. i got to look at the map, actually. I know, you know... Yeah, I was talking to Joe Buckley. He's like... Part of his challenge is not looking at the map, but I don't know. I mean, I've been to these maps before, and we have enough time between episodes that, like, I, I do, I will consider the map if I'm doing such a big gamble. Like, which which way am I going? We're almost there, guys. One more sprint. I think we're, we're done with this, so thanks for putting up with it. Um, one of these. And let's heat up the old uh, herbal. Okay, can we sprint? Yeah. Get nice and tired. We'll, we'll sleep 10 hours. We're going to wake up in sheer darkness. There's, I think that's going to give us 10, guys. So let's do that. Okay. There's the herbal. Okay. 
And let's pull 10. We're going to wake up in darkness, so I'm going to have a bottle on me. Let's do 10. Maximum condition recovery. Fire goes out. And we wake up. Let's just see what the temperature is and stuff. We're losing, guys. So they're negative one. So that was perfect. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching. It's been a major pleasure. I've really enjoyed your company. Day 60, guys. Uh, I'll catch you again next episode.